Spirit Companions. This is the sign of the times. Gotta dress it up. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to Creative Companions where we're all believing mirrors for one another. I believe in you. I thank you for showing up. I honor you. Let me know you're here. A little rough. Hey. Jamie is watching. Hi, Jamie. I hope you're well. I hope everybody's well today. It's raining. Um, yeah. Hi, Donna. Thank you so much for this morning. Thanks, everybody. Chaz, thank you all for showing up. Like, for me, for showing up. That's a big deal. Um, the universe tries to get in the way of best laid plans sometimes. Um, so, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good job. Good job. Hey, wow, yeah, everybody's showing up today. Ah, so grateful. So, polishing the mirror, the book we have, I had chosen, we're going to talk about that, Ram Dass. Um, whether you read any of it or not is fine with me. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just so happy you're here. Um, so, we're going to do an acrylic painting today. Um, I know some of you aren't real like fans of painting and would prefer to use markers or a different medium, and that's fine. Um, I suggest a bigger cardboard maybe than we've been using. Um, we use cardboard for our um, creative companions because we're just here to play. No need to be nervous. No need to try to do it right. We're just here to play and have fun. So the painting on cardboard um, helps free up our subconscious that might want to tell us we have to do things a certain way and do it right or whatever and also there's way too much cardboard let's not put it in the land fill let's make it into beautiful art and um so i have a long skinny just because that's what i found i'm in really tight quarters today i am inside the dragonfly um it's raining and um yeah so i'm just sitting in the dragonfly here and gonna do best i can to be able to show you my canvas as i go um, I might try to turn my camera here just a little. I don't know. I'm afraid I'll knock it over. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to use acrylic paint, that's what I'm going to be using. So we need our acrylic paint supplies. We'll need a palette. We'll need brushes of a variety of sizes, um, colors. I really don't know what where this painting's going or what we're doing. It's that kind of morning and week and day and life. <laughs> so spirit guided, you know, we're just showing up. Yeah, that's something I was thinking about too before we start meditating. And we're learning, um, adding things to our toolkit. That's really what Creative Companions is here for. To help each other find things to inspire us to use that creative part of ourselves to wake up that part to silence the sensor you know and so we're finding tools like meditation and using our art and drinking water and going for a walk um i'm wondering my question is when we put these things into action and we can do them on the daily when we feel good how do we do them when we feel bad how do we do them when the funk sets in um, how do we remember, how do we remember to take that one conscious step in our own good direction? One way is we have believing mirrors in the world that will call us up, that will send us a text and even just say, Hey, I don't know if I'm going to make it to creative companions this morning. No feeling so, mm, I didn't read the thing yet, I'm mm, mm, maybe judging themselves a little bit, which is exactly what I'm doing over here, what I was doing over here myself this morning, going, I don't know if I can show up today, I don't know, so, how do you get yourself to take that first step, maybe that's a really good question to ask, what, and, and, and it is, it is, what is the one thing I can do in this moment, because that's the other thing that creates companions is all about is coming to this moment to this now with yourself and finding what feels good in the now you know I put on my top hat this is you know and I'm learning from y'all creative companions two weeks ago when my friend Chandra sat with me for my live feed she said can I wear the top hat during the live feed because I feel more creative well I need to wear the top hat today so I feel more creative and my fancy ring too helps 
Um, so thank you all for being here and taking a step in your direction. You know, let's just all take a deep breath together. Breathing in and out. I'm using my phone today and I usually use my computer. So, oh, I think the comments will just keep popping up. I don't think I have to scroll. So, I'm going to meditate here in a minute. Right on. Really glad you all are here. Oh, I was <laughs> back to our supplies that we need for today. If you don't want acrylic paint, you could use watercolors. You could use markers. I love you all so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being here. Breathing in and out. I am. I think for this meditation, we're just going to close our eyes and focus on our breathing. And however you do during that, it's so quiet in here. It's so peaceful in here. Relax in your seat and breathe. Allow the sounds around you to help you relax more. If you're uncomfortable with your eyes closed, open them. But continue to focus on your breath. Just breathing in and out, allowing. Deepening your breath in and then hold it between and exhale. You've already been just sitting breathing for two minutes. You're doing a good job. Let's keep doing that. allowing whatever is going on around you to go on around you while you realize that inside you it's so quiet in here so very peaceful in here a quiet peaceful little place where the smartest little kid in the world lives Open your eyes if you haven't already. Mm, grateful for being here now. Grateful that you're here now. We meditate to come to the now to be able to be here 
with one another and ourselves in the creative process. Come here with our minds and our hearts open in that space of love. I see all that love y'all are sending me too in the comments and I really appreciate it. I love you all back just the same. Just the same and more and more and more. Um, I feel yellow. I feel yellow. So I'm going to grab some yellow. You grab what you feel as far as paint. We're just loading our palettes now with whatever color we feel to cover our canvas with. As you know, um, if you've painted with me before, um, we start from the background. The furthest thing away, the sky. My skies are often yellow. Um, I feel yellow and orange today. I'm not going to use any white right now. I like to have two, at least two colors or two tones of the same color to play with, to create my um, background with. So I'm going to grab a nice um, brush that feels good to me. This big wide one. So we're going to grab a big wide brush to... First, we're just going to cover our canvas. Um, water helps the paint, especially the acrylic paint, move around. And I'm going to use more water today than I usually do because I just want to mix it up and, and do it different. Um, I'm challenged too in this small little space. I'm actually, I'm sitting in the cab of the Dragonfly and um, in a Walmart parking lot somewhere. Okay, let's see. I'll put my water over there. I don't want to spill it. So take your time. And that's a, that's the thing, too, is slowing down. 11-11 all is well, y'all. Deep breath. It's 11-11 at 11. It's just started raining here. All is well in my world. Hmm. Okay. So I put a nice little blob there, yellow and orange. Got my fat brush. Got my piece of cardboard, and I'm just going. I like to put my brush a little in each color, and um, <laughs> all right, Alyssa. Maybe you can come back later. She, I'm glad you joined for meditation. Okay, so I just like to put my brush in, like, and start with whatever. I'm gonna just start with. Look how messy. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, just really let your kid play today. No need to be nervous. We just came here to have fun. So I'm going to start with that. Now I'm going to add water and no more paint and like play with moving that around. Like out like that. Oh, and remember acrylic paint will stay in your clothes. So I have my paint smock on. So now I'm doing that. Like just pulling the paint out that way. Um, so I, I mean, I'm going to do that, and my goal here is to cover all the brown uh, cardboard. So I'm allow you to do that to yours too with whatever colors you want to use. Um, it's raining, so I'm painting the sun, and you can paint what I'm painting, or you can do entirely your own thing today. Whatever feels right to you. This is your process. That which I do, which heals me, heals all. Do you want to see? Look, I have fun leggings on and everything today because it's raining and I was feeling blue and I miss Jules and Jody and Pam and lots of people. Um, those ones in particular. Yeah. So, yeah. So now I'm just loving on this piece of cardboard and making the colors and being here now. If you find your brain start thinking about stuff or your sensor rears up and starts talking to you, take some deep breaths. Smile. Silence the sensor. Silence the judge. Anything that's, that's telling you that you're doing something wrong on your piece of cardboard, how could you be? There is no right or wrong. Only your thinking makes it so. And we just came here to play today. That's all I have to say. I saw that turtle. Uh, and I'm really glad you shared the tur turtle, Chandra. Share the beautiful things you see in the world with each other. Creative companion. Share your art with us. It, it thrills me. You don't even know how much it thrills me to see your art shared in the comments. Um, on our Creative Companions page and to see this community grow. Um, 
So, and what is Creative Companions? You know, I've been thinking a lot about that. This book, Polishing the Mirror, that I chose for our second book, we did the Artist Way first, if you didn't know. Twelve Weeks, Julia Cameron, Artist Way. And that's my, that's my thing, the Artist Way. Um, spiritual path to awakening our creative self and silencing the censor. That, that's my jam. Um, and that's what I like to talk about, and we always use that as reference. So I chose this, and it, it became our little tagline. We're believing mirrors for one another. I believe in you. I believe, I believe in your creative process and your growth, and you believe in mine. And it's all a beautiful thing. We grow together. Um, so I chose this book, Polishing the Mirror. It just, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Now it seems heavy. Now it seems, um, I'm not, just, uh, um, I, I don't want to be a guru. I'm just one of you. I'm just here healing. And so I have the book here beside me, and I'll look at it in a minute. I wonder if any of you have read it and, and what you think. Um, some people are calling Creative Companions a book group, and I don't know if that sits well with me. It's um, a creative discovery group. I like that. We're on a creative discovery together in our little rocket ships here. So, I have my canvas covered. Do you? Will you let me know? I'm going to put this brush in the water while I let my canvas dry a little. And I'll look at the book here a minute and see what I highlighted. How to Live from Your Spiritual Heart, Ram Dass. I love Ram Dass. And I, I, I've read a lot of Ram Dass and I've watched videos. And Katie and I went and saw movie called On Dying. Um, yeah. So the practice of, he's talking in chapter two about the path of devotion. Bhakti yoga. I'm not sure how to say that. Union with the one. So it means union. It's a path of devotion. It's to awaken to the flow of love. To awaken to our heart space. So that's one way to meditate, is to lose yourself in the flow of love, is to go into that heart space and breathe into that. Devotion complements the quieting of the mind in meditation by opening the heart. I like that. This outflowing of the heart toward the object of our devotion further polishes the mirror reflecting the spirit. So then what is the object of our demo devotion? Ourselves, our higher selves. You know, our, we are learning to love ourselves more and more and more and more. Hmm. So that's what that's up. That's what's up there. When we are fully present in this moment with a quiet mind and an open heart, we experience the flow of love from our spiritual heart. I like that. Mm-hmm. Consciousness of truth is bliss, it says. Mm -hmm. ah, many of us are afraid to let go of our judging minds and fall into this space of love. We're afraid to be absorbed into the liquid flow of the universe. We hold on and we cling with this liquid, loving, light energy. I like that. Okay, I'm going to grab a different brush here for a second. Um, so we're talking about soul love. It says conscious or spiritual love is unconditional. To enter this space of conscious love, you become it. I like that. This love is the truth, and it's in all of us. We're one in, in love in this space. Love is a state of being. So, from this state of being, <laughs> with this beautiful, open, shiny heart, I'm going to grab another paintbrush. Let's see. Which one? Because I want to do something completely different today, I'm going to do some splattering right now with that yellow. Because my, I, I've gone kind of orange. You see that light shining, though? Um, if you do want to do something like I'm doing, keep a center spot where you go in that motion with your brushes and then outward from it. Let's just keep going outward from that. 
right now to make it more yellow because it's orange, I'm going to take a really yucky brush that I can get to do the flicking thing so I can flick some yellow spots on here. Living, loving, liquid light, Chandra says. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just flick and see what happens. You see? And you can play with that by moving your brush closer to, further away from. I'm just going to put a lot of flicks on here. Once I have these flicks on here, I have another idea. I'm going to do a little dragging of them in a circular motion, indicating movement that way. Do you see I just kind of drug them a little lightly? I didn't... I didn't blend them into the other color. They're there on top. I'm going to flick some more. You can flick some more if you want to. Hey, I wonder if anyone, like, in the comments, while we're doing the live feed, could you post your work? Could somebody take a picture of their progress right now and, and like, put it in the comments? That would be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this being more interactive. Talk to me, y'all. Show me what you're doing. So now I'm dragging this way. Just cause. Just going with the flow. Now the next thing I'm hearing now is River's voice saying, well, we love all the colors. So now that I have this beautiful orange, yellow, liquid, loving, light energy background I created. Check it out. I'm going to load up my palette with all the colors. Just a little bit of each color. You might want to do that too. This is kind of fun. So let me know if you have your canvas covered there. i got to move a little bit. Wiggle around when you need to. Remember that you live in this body. And if you sit with your legs across too long, you might put your foot to sleep. Are you breathing? Is it still quiet in there? Okay. So, I'm going to get some red. I didn't do the check-in I usually do. So, we use some basic tools in Creative Companions. Um, journaling is the main one in my mind. And that's um, from Julia Cameron in The Artist Way. She suggests three pages of brain drain first thing in the morning. And that's something I have been practicing for 27 years. And it's a beautiful way to get to know yourself. You know, you're having a conversation in your head with yourself all day long. Um, we don't often think about what that conversation is. When you start journaling, you do. And you write this stuff down. And is your voice a whiny one that you get tired of hearing? Boy, mine does get to be sometimes. Um... Okay, Chandra says there's no way to share a photo during a live, so that's fine. Y'all can share them after. I'm just still loading my palette up with whatever color I happen to grab, and just a little bit of each. I always make sure I get purple and white and black. All the colors. And I love when my paint blob, um, when I squirt it onto the palette, and it comes out in the shape of a little bird. That always makes me happy. It's a simple pleasure, folks. So yeah, so um, journaling, I'd love to hear about your experiences with that. If you've tried it, if, if, if you're interested in trying it, you can check out um, Julia's writings about that. Um, um, let's see, I need blue and I just knocked something down. Tight spaces. Um, the other thing, Oh, as far as morning pages, too, um, adding affirmations and learning to work with your negative voice if that is what's showing up. Thanks, Chaz and Chandra, for um, sending pictures. I'll check those out in a minute. Um, so, if you're, you've started journaling, you're noticing that your negative voice is just really whining all the time, and now you're at this place where you've identified it, but you don't know what to do about it. 
Well, we counter those negative blurts with positive affirmations, and we're learning to speak a different way. Treating myself as a precious object makes it so. I am thankful for it is a good way to start your journal uh, one day and just fill up three pages of that. Learning to be thankful in the moment, in this moment. In this moment, I am thankful for blue paint, and I am thankful for all of you who are witnessing me <laughs> do this thing I do. Okay, so I got all these different colors on here now. And I have this beautiful background I created. Um, I'm feeling a, a rainbow here. I'm going to just turn my, I thought it was vertical, but no, it's going to go horizontal. And this is my sun. My rainbow is going to, see that arch I already got going there? I'm going to make that my rainbow. So I'm going to get, let's use this brush. It's a flat brush that's dry. It hasn't been in water and it's not going in water right now. I'm going to dry brush. And if you've painted with me before, you've seen me do dry brush. I'm going to start with purple. I'm just going to put a little light purple on my brush. See that? And then I'm going to take my piece of toilet tissue, where my paper towels are, and I'm going to wipe most of that paint off. I'm going to test it on my hand. See that? That's too much. I want to wipe more of it off. Okay, now it barely showed up on my hand. And then I take it to the canvas. Let's see if I can do it and show you too. So, how's it going? Oh, look, see? It's making just the lightest little mark, which is exactly what I want. And I'm going to take it in a big old arch up over my sun. Look at that thing. And you know, sometimes a rainbow is brighter on one side than the other. See how it fades a little on that side? That's fine. Um, because that's how it does sometimes. This side's closer to the light. So next I'm going to go with blue. Hi, Vicki. Hope you're feeling well. Hope everybody's feeling good right now. In this moment... Take a deep breath. Know that you're loved and safe and appreciated. Okay, I'm going to put blue overlapping the purple a little. I did the same thing. A little blue on the brush. A little blue on the tissue. Dabbing. Check it on my hand. There we go. Starting on the same side as the purple. I, well, I didn't quite overlap, but that's okay. Whatever happens, happens. You see? I'm going to go with a little more of the blue. I'm going to try this. I have a little lighter blue here I can use. Sometimes a third hand. <laughs> so what are you dreaming up for yourself? That's a fun thing to write in your journal, your dreams. Writing them down helps them come true. At least helps you get clear on what you want to do. And that rhymes. Writing them down helps them come true. At least gets you clear on what you want to do. <laughs> so another good reason to journal. Look at that. Purple and blue. That's pretty. Look. It just gets prettier and prettier as you go. We're all works in progress. You get prettier as you go, you know. So after blue, I'm going to do green here in a second. But let's see what else I have highlighted in the book. Love is a state of being. We're all right here in love. This isn't a possessive thing. We can't collect it. We can't hold on to it. We can only become it. That's nice. It's only when you begin to understand that love is a state of being that you can really be in love. If we both dwell in the place in ourselves that are, that is love, then we dwell there together. Isn't that nice? So it's a common state of being. You know, we talk a lot in the artist way about looking at and identifying things you know what a, the lies that we have been told um, about ourselves about life about God about money about any of it about love that's a good thing to look at for yourself you know a lot of us what we have been shown and told is love that's not it what we've been giving that's not it you know so 
You can use the same dry brush over and over and not clean it. Just wipe the rest of that color off. Like, see, I did it with my fingers because this will wash right off. I'm taking that blue off and going with some green now. So I get a little green and I put way too much green. I'm going to need my, on my brush, I'm going to need my tissue to wipe most of that off. And check it on your hand with the dry brush. And I'm going to overlap the blue with a little green. Remember, take your time, slow down, take deep breaths. We're in no hurry. You know, the live feeds take about an hour usually, I try. But if we're not done with our painting in an hour, um, we can work on it again tomorrow. And I was even thinking maybe we'll bring the same one back again next week. We'll see. You never know. I'm going to do yellow now. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes, listen with your eyes. Sing everything you see. Sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. Sing along with me. <laughs> so there's yellow. I'm going to do orange. My rainbow is really fading to the right, and I like that. I'm just keeping that going because that's how it started off. I wonder if you all are making rainbows. So, orange. Even though my sky is orange in the background, I still need to do that orange stripe on my rainbow. Look at it. It's looking really good. And now I'm going to do red. Because I have that uh, separation from nature painting, and River has a, River's my granddaughter, she has a poster of it in her room, and it's been there for years. And it, when I do a painting with her, um, she, she doesn't think my paintings are done until I put a rainbow in them. So, and I miss River. We'll be seeing her soon, though. There we go. It's my rainbow. Ta-da! Now, I am going to try to find my white paint. Which my, oh, oh, that was easy. Thanks, Universe. Put it right there for me. So, I'm going to add some white now to make my rainbow a little shinier. The palette's getting pretty full here. With all the colors. And just put a little white. I'm going to get this brush cleaned off. Are you having fun? Are you breathing in and out? Good. Let's see. I lost my space in the book here. Ah. There's a good sentence. If you see everything in the universe as a way to work on your own consciousness, even if it's showing you where you're con unconscious or where you're asleep, then everyone and everything in the universe becomes your teacher. And you become a teacher too. I like this, too. We do things that take us out of our mind into the fullness of the moment. Teachings are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are all just very interesting things. <laughs> so we're just hanging out in this incredible space of consciousness, of presence, of love. It's a way of opening ourselves to those qualities. It's a process of surrendering to the place of unconditional love. So, here we are, doing something we love to do. So when you're in this place, you're at the optimal environment from an open heart to create and let it flow. You no, know, uh, create from this space of of being open to flow and love and grace and we bow to the great beauty all around us within us to that place in ourselves from where we make art and the art that we make only we can create every every piece of art is truly a self portrait you made it it came from you um, I'm just doing some dry brushing with the white now so here you have it I'm gonna 
go above my purple with the white and see how that is just going to make it light up and kind of glow. So I'm going to do that white edge all the way along. And then I'm going to do it again on the other side of my red. See that? Oh, yeah. I like seeing it <laughs> on the camera. So there you have it. And look, um, where I am, it stopped raining because I painted this rainbow. It was raining. With this same dry brush now, I'm going to go back to what was my son, is my son. And I'm going to make that round shape again. See that? I did it like a spiral. Doesn't that look cool? And then I'm going to make some sun rays coming off from there with that dry brush. See that? Just lighten it up. Lighten it. That's the, that's the message for today, I think. Lightening up. Lighten up on ourselves. Give ourselves a break. Don't take everything so seriously. We just came here to have fun. <laughs> It's a great, big, beautiful world. And it's waiting for you. <laughs> I'm going to make a puffy cloud. Look at that. With that dry brush. Look at that. What if I took the white on that dry brush and a little blue? Light blue, light blue. Let's mix it up. Mix it up. I'm going to dry it up just a second. So I have light blue. And go in a circular motion. Happiness runs in a circular motion. Love is like a little boat on the sea. <laughs> I forget that the rest of it. Wait, I'll get it. <laughs> you can be happy if you let yourself be. You can be happy if you let yourself be. Allow yourself to be. Let yourself be. Leave yourself alone. Quit picking on you. Do you know? It's a conversation with ourself that we're having. So be nice nice to you. I like that cloud. Let's see. Here, I'll make one on the other side. We're going through to the other side. So the weeks go by. We still are dealing with the COVID thing. Figuring that out. Life in America. Breathing in and out. Oh yeah, look at that cloud. Now, since we talk about affirmations a lot, um, perhaps you'd like to use this one, this background, Rainbow Sun. Oh, that's, that's my band name, Rainbow Sun. <laughs> um, maybe you would like to write an affirmation on there. Maybe you have an idea of an affirmation you could share in the comments. Treating myself as a precious object makes it so... Um, let your love light shine. That's a good one. Be here now. Yeah. Best is yet to come. Best day ever. Stuff like that. You know? And then you can hang these up in the in your um, art space, in your... in your home where you can see them. It's really nice to like put your art that you did today where the sun will hit it tomorrow and you'll see it first thing when you wake. I am love, I am worthy, says Donna. That's good. Um, to feed yourself these positive images and you can put some glitter. You know I like glitter. And only you can decide when this piece of art that you're working on now is complete. Um, and when you do decide that it's complete, sign it and date it, honor it, honor yourself, share a photo with us. You could take this, you know, further, um, and make it, you could put trees and roots and vines and I think I'll put a tree. So I'm taking that same brush and I put some brown on it because I had some brown on my canvas here and I'm going to do, let's see if I can do this so y'all can see. Oh, nice, Vicky. Thank you. That's beautiful. Let your little light shine. So my tree's going to lean towards the rainbow. 
And you know, I like to make my trees into people. So my tree is going to have two arms reaching up. So maybe you make your tree self. I like to think of it that way. And she's leaning towards the light. Let's give her a head here. Just an oval. Look at that. She's all stretched out. Woohoo! <laughs> Reaching for new things. And then you could give her pretty hair for leaves. Or or not. You could give her a bunch of branches or him. Whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. What are you gonna do today? Whatever I want. See? Let's start making a tree there. Hi, Tamaya. Loving you and your kiddos, too. Everybody's getting so big. Everybody's growing. Growing together. Isn't it fun? Just watching one another grow or witnessing one another's growth. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm going to do a curly motion. I'm going to make them a treetop there. You know, just showing up and doing whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. Not hurting anybody. Just doing what feels good and making a tree here. You know when you're when you're painting too, you don't ever have to make a picture of something. You know? You can just play with the colors and make swirls and swirls and swirls or whatever feels good to you. Just let the time go by. You know, sometimes like we don't know what else to do. Well, Go play in the paint. That won't hurt nothing. Might And it might help. Or go pick up your guitar. People say, I don't create when I don't feel good. Well, that's what we talked about at the beginning. How do you get yourself to do it when you don't feel good? Well, you just do it. Just do it. Just make a commitment to yourself. Next time I don't feel good, I will pick up my guitar. And see what happens. It, make it an experiment. How different will you play when you don't feel good as compared to when you do? Maybe you'll write about the art that you created when you didn't feel good in your journal. And you can go back and look at that. There's nothing more interesting to study than you doing what you do. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to play with this for a little longer. Let's see. I have no idea. Okay, it's 11.42. I do have an idea. <laughs> so enter into this flow. Bow to the great beauty, strength, and devotion that is all around us, that is within ourselves. Make the mirror of your heart as clean as we can so that we can become aware of the great beauty and love that lives within us as our own true nature. And then we can reflect that and reflect that love to the people we encounter and the people we see and to ourselves and say, hi, I love you. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you all spent this time with me today. Made me feel better. We still have 20 minutes. Um, next week, we're going to talk about karma yoga and living in the world. I guess I'm going to continue with this polishing the mirror. I was just don't want this group to become... Uh, feeling like a religious group, I'm not, I'm not qualified for it to be such and would never want it to be such. This is a creative group where we're just exploring our creativity. Oh, at the first um, couple weeks ago, we made these good stuff jars. We just decorated a piece of paper and then glued it onto a jar. Mine says good stuff. And then daily, I've been asking that we put a piece of paper in there. And write one thing that happened good that day. This one says I had safe travels on 412. I drove safely to wherever I went. So um, I encourage you to do that. You know, and um, every day before you lay down to go to bed, put in here one good thing that happened today. It's a fun practice. Um, it's nice to have a jar full of good stuff too when you need it. You know, maybe that that's another tool you can use when you're feeling blue. Um, you can pull out your good stuff jar and um, read some of those. So to take this painting a little step further, 
and add more detail. You know, people are always commenting about my work and, oh, all the detail. I'm going to add some detail to this tree right now for you so that you get an idea of how that works. So I'm going to find my black paint, which I haven't used yet today. Here it is. And I'm just going to need a tiny little bit of that. You Look at all this paint I put out. I'm going to have to do another painting after this one's done because I put out way too much paint. You can put your acrylic paint on the palette in a Ziploc bag and seal it up um, if you have way too much paint out and you get called away and you can't use it all up right then. Um, you can do that. So, I am going to get a teeny tiny, itty bitty, little tiny brush. See? A nice point. And dip it in water a little. Where might I? I'll go okay and I'm going to go now when you're using a small pointy brush the way you load the paint on the brush is important too um, so if you just stick it in and grab the paint you get a blob that's not what we're looking for um, you want to use it as a pointy brush so you roll the brush on a flat spot on your palette and then pull back out like that and it gives you a nice point so with that nice point I'm gonna start adding some detail to my tree over here and I'm gonna have to do this and then show you so I'm just deciding where are the shadows down the middle it would be darker I'll get some more black here Be a shadow under the head, right? Shadow around here. See, see, all I'm doing is putting in some shadow lines. You know, the head would cast a shadow onto the arm. You'd be able to see some detail down the middle. Let's put a, a, a line between the legs. Maybe I have on dark shoes and I make some black there this way so you can see my arms better while I'm painting you can't see me so just adding little see how tiny thin I can make that line with that pointy brush and as on a tree as the branches go out they get thinner so I always start from the trunk and go out with your brush and as the paint comes off the brush and you have less and less it's automatically going to get thinner okay and then you could add a little face. So I, same brush. I rolled it in my paint. I'm just going to, again, I'm going to go all the way around the head here and indicate. Indicate is a word I use a lot in painting. We're indicating a human face on a tree right now, or at least that's what I'm doing. I'm, get, I'm suddenly giving her long hair. You see, I just do whatever. Back in the paint, twirling it around, making it pointy on my brush. Now I'm going to give her a little face. So I'm going to start with eyebrows. Two little arched eyebrows. See that? And then we go roll it in the paint again. Let's give her little closed eyes. So those are little arches that go the opposite way of the eyebrows. That's easy. See that? Are you still breathing? The sounds around you just help you relax more. Hear that horn? And then we give her a little smiley face here. Look. I didn't give her a nose. I don't think I'm gonna. So, sometimes I just like to, like, take this little brush and just... Run it round and round and round. Make different shapes with it. So I'm just putting little branches in my tree now. Like that. So there you go. Hey, if you haven't checked out my website, it's artbykimkeffer.com. It's new. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, it's still in progress, still adding things to it. But... Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Everything's art by Kim Keffer now, too. I have Instagram and all those things. And um, if you want to check out my art. So there you have it. That's what I, I'm going to stop 
right there for now. I need to stretch my legs, get a drink of water. It's 10 till. Oh, I forgot to mention the artist date is the other tool. I get so distracted. So we have morning pages. I encourage you, please do try out the morning pages this week. Um, three pages if you can of brain drain. Say nice things to yourself in your journal. And the other one is an artist date which is kind of what we just did. It's just you and your artist self. Well, you're with me and I'm with you. So this is just, I just caught a green feather. Take yourself out on an artist date, just doing something fun that you like to do. Go for a walk in the woods, take a, take a bubble bath. Thank you. Someone mentioned they like my hat. Um, we 12 of the artist way, you can make your own hat. And all the artist way videos are on the YouTube channel, Art by Kim Keffer. You can watch them all there. They're in a collection of all 12. So, um, fun thing to do with you and your friends, too, together. So, share your painting with me in the comments. I'll share mine. Make sure you sign it. Love yourself more and more and more this week. Let's read Chapter 3 and see what we learn there. All right? Peace out, people.